Hello friends, you are watching a Rudire Plus, the professional CAD CAM solution provider. Let's get started. Hello viewers, today I'm going to explain finite element analysis of a truss member using ANSYS mechanical APDL. You can see the model. A load of 1000 kN is applied at node number 5 and node number 8. It is having roller support at node number 2 and at node number 1 it is having hinge joint okay all the dimensions are given in millimeter and cross-sectional area of that link member is 5000 millimeter square it is made up of steel with modulus of elasticity 200 gigapascal that means can be converted to newton per millimeter square as 2 into 10 to the power 5 newton per millimeter square so without wasting time let us start our modeling and analysis using ANSYS mechanical epidural okay it will be a structural analysis we have to define the elements different types of elements can be selected we can select link beam or pipe sections but easiest option will be the link one in that case we can provide directly cross section area of the links but to add the element let us provide link and by default it is taking 3d finance strain 180 let us select that one close it next to that we have to provide material properties it will be coming from material models structural linear elastic isotropic properties that means material properties will remain same in all directions considering poisonous ratio to be 0 0.3 and modulus of elasticity 2 into 10 to the 5 newton per millimeter square okay applied next to that you have to provide the cross section area of the links that will be obtained from sections links add cross section area section id is 1 let us voice name as a square section that means we are providing a square cross section and area of link member is 5000 millimeter square okay cross section area is provided next to that you have to start modeling and it will be better to create nodes based on the node only we'll model it in that case advantage is there that means we need not provide some kind of machine because as we are getting nodes machine is not required we have to create nodes in active coordinate system and first node will be created at origin so applied let us provide corresponding nodes at her different locations second node will be created at 12,000 millimeter away from origin so x coordinate is 12,000 and y coordinate is 0 applied third node will be 2400 and y is 6000 applied fourth node will be 9600 and 6000 applied fifth node will be 3000 and y coordinate will be 12000 applied next one is 9000 and 12000 applied next one is minus 3000 and 12000 next one in the horizontal direction it will be 15000 and 12000 applied and finally in the upward direction it will be 3000 and 16500 apply and finally the last one is at 9000 and 16500 okay all the nodes have been created 
now we can connect all these nodes in the form of elements let us see the drawing and connect all these elements elements auto numbered through nodes we can connect node 1 and 2 apply 2 and 4 apply 1 4 apply 1 3 applied let us connect all these elements one by one Modeling is complete. We have connected all the different nodes in the form of elements. Okay. You can see we are having total 10 numbers of nodes, and in between 10 numbers of nodes, we are having different numbers of elements. Okay. Next to that, we have to apply boundary conditions. It will be started with nodes, and definitely it is a static structural analysis define nodes apply structural displacement at node number 1 at node number 1 we can select all degrees of freedom with zero displacement that means node number 1 is fixed next one we have to apply roller support at node number 2 okay as it is a two dimensional problem we have to provide u y to be zero that means it is restricted to move in the downward direction it can slide in the x direction okay done and next we have to, have to apply our boundary condition that is load to be applied 1000 kilonewton load to be applied at these two different locations right let us apply load force moment on nodes let us select those nodes separately and it will be in the y direction f y and as it is in the downward direction it will be minus 1 e6 okay load is applied next to that we have to solve it if everything is right it will show solution is done solution solve current ls solution is done that means everything is perfect we can see our results from our general force processing. We will see our results from plot results. Deform shape it will be default plus undeformed to show both the shapes of original drawing. Deform shape also. White color is the original shape and blue is the deform shape. By the application of load, it has deformed. Okay. If you see this in 3D format, we can see it from here. Plot style plot control styles size and shape and display of element should be on right okay next to that we have to see our results from control plot node solution give wave solution you want to see displacement of different nodes so we have to see displacement vector sum it is showing displacement is maximum displacement is 69.7023 millimeter which is occurring at this location which is indicated by red color right and minimum displacement is occurring at the support at the base support it is indicated by blue color right and minimum displacement is zero which is at the base support okay we can view these things in the form of listing also let us see list results node observation due observation and displacement vector sum you see total 10 numbers of nodes are there 
and it is showing displacement of each of the nodes and maximum displacement is occurring at node number 7 which is 69.617 millimeter okay some of the nodes are having contraction and some of the nodes are having expansion okay next to that we want to see stresses developed on different elements by the same time we want to see force acting on the different members for that one we have to create the elemental table let us create element level from here define table nothing is defined so we have to add the table let us write the name of this one as stress and from here we can select by sequence number ls and element type reference number is 1 that should be provided apply next one we going to see the forces acting on different members you can write this one as force by sequence number and it will be smisc1 that will be indicating force acting on different members let us update this one and close it next to that we will see the force and stress distribution on different members this one will be showing stress distribution on different members it is showing maximum stress is 333.33 newton per millimeter square and that is acting on these two members this member and this member right and minimum stress is acting on these members which is contraction maximum stress is acting on these members and these members which is 333.33 newton per millimeter square and minimum stress that is compressive in nature is acted on these members minimum stress is acted on these members which is minus 286.667 newton per millimeter square we can view all these things in the form of listing also so we'll see results as listing list element table we will see stress distribution only it is showing stress for each of the members within 10 numbers of nodes we are having 17 numbers of elements and out of these elements minimum compressive stress is on element number 8 which is minus 286.67 newton per millimeter square that is 8 number element is this one and you can see down maximum stress is acting on element number 14 which is 33.33 newton per millimeter square maximum stress is this one you can see mx and minimum stress is here right next to that we will see force distribution on different members right you can see both of them stress and force together next to that we will see force distribution on each of the members these are the force distribution on 17 members and from this one we can see that minimum on element number 8 which is compressive force 0.1433 to 10 to the 7 newton and maximum on element number 14 which is 0.166 into 10 to the 7 newton maximum force is occurring on this element which is 0.166 into 10 to the 7 newton and minimum stress is occurring on this element which is compressive in nature which is 0.1433 into 10 to the 7 newton okay you can see both stress and force together also from here first column is showing stress distribution and second column is showing force distribution so we can sum up all these things together that maximum stress is occurring on element number 14 which is 333.33 newton per millimeter square and maximum force is also acting on element number 14 which is 0.166 into 10 to the 7 newton similarly you can see that minimum compressive stress is 286.67 
newton per millimeter square which is on element number eight and minimum force is on element number eight which is compressive in nature it is 0 0.14 into 10 to the 7 newton okay so this is all about our today's analysis of a simple truss member using ANSYS mechanical material thank you so much for watching this video thank you again bye if you like this video please subscribe and share and if you have any kind of doubts please write to me thank you so much for watching this video thank you again bye